Well, train derailments have made headlines over the last year or so, East Palestine being chief among them, and now the U.S. has announced new rules. It will make things easier between railroads and first responders. Evan Poe Palace joins us now live in Lancaster County with more. Evan. Save lives, it'll, it'll save responders from potentially doing something wrong. A new federal mandate from the U.S.'s Pipeline and Hazardous Material Safety Administration requiring, quote, railroads to always maintain and update in real time accurate electronic information about rail hazmat shipments in a train consist that would be accessible to authorize emergency response personnel. I think this codifies it and probably will save them some time in the event of an incident. Dwayne Hagelgans is the emergency manager for Blue Rock Regional Emergency Management Agency. He says this change has been on his mind for quite some time. What happens if a situation occurs where we've had hazardous materials? We've had a lot of incidents around the country with hazardous material. Then East Palestine happened. East Palestine uh, made everyone take a closer look at it and showed the seriousness of uh, of these issues and the potential for disaster. Derailments putting first responders in potential life-threatening situations. There's been train incidents where responders have gotten injured or hurt because they got there thinking it was X and it was Y and you found an explosion or a fire. Hagelgan saying this rule wasn't around before because he believes the train industry wants their freight to stay hush-hush. The train industry doesn't want to give the citizen access to what they're carrying on the train. But the emergency services need that information because when something happens, that's who's going to be there first. Before the move, railroads were pushing information out to public safety answering points like 911 calling centers. That is still required, but some could lag behind in actually sending that information, making this rule progress. I think this is a, a movement in the right direction. And Hagelgan says the incident in East Palestine was what got this conversation going in the right direction. Live in Lancaster County, Evan Mapalas, ABC 27 News.